And that wasn't just a coincidence. Right. I believe yeah. it was more than a coincidence. Yeah. And that's what oh, yeah, we're yeah. taking. That's what's on our heart today. You know, I normally don't name my messages. You know, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But I believe today what's on our heart, uh, that, it, that it is more than a coincidence. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I believe this morning that we begin to look at what happened there, this land there, you know, all we realize if we just read and look on the surface, all we see is this little boy has got this here. But you know it started way before that. Yeah. Yeah. Way before yeah. That's that. right. It Come started on, way yeah. back in his house. I yeah. can just yeah. see in my mind, I can see this little family come together and they say, you know, today we want to go and see our Savior. We want to oh, go yeah. and see him oh, today. Yeah. Yeah. And the mother, I can just see her in there. said, come in here, son. i got to fix you a little lunch. Uh, you got to have something to Bless eat because Lord. you may get hungry before we get back. And it wasn't no coincidence that they was going to go to be with Jesus this way. Oh, 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 oh. It wasn't a coincidence oh, 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 oh. that they were going to shoot hey, man. in that little lunch for that young yeah. man going up there. Oh, it, it, wasn't a, it, it wasn't just a coincidence that he went up there and he was in that great multitude. It must need that he would have been there. God was in the arrangement to start with. That's I'm right. telling you, my God never yeah. misses her. Yeah. My God never misses anything. He yeah. always yeah. 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 Where he's going and why he's going. Come on, brother. And I remember taking the yeah. good word of God. Come on, and I brother. thought, Lord, oh, yeah. you're working in this. And I begin to think now, what if that little boy, he just runs. But you know, God was in the arrangement. If that That's boy, right. he just runs early, these people wouldn't have been blessed. Yeah, that's right, brother. God was in the arrangement. You see how God's working? God's already got the lunch packed. That's right. Yeah, yeah, man. Yep. Yep. this young man up there. And this man, young man has not ate his lunch yet. Yeah. God's in the arrangement. Yeah. Now, how many young as you turn loose for some food that they're going to go very far, very long, before they say, you know, I'm hungry. I think I'm going to eat. Yeah. But this young lad didn't. That's right. Yeah. Why? Because God had a plan. Absolutely. God had something Amen. that he was going to do, yes. how he was going to use this. And that's why Jesus, the Bible says, he knew what he would do. Yes. Jesus Amen. knew there was a mother down there packing yes. her lunch. Yeah. Jesus knew this man was going to be there. He knew this Come man was going to be in preacher, this Lord. multitude. See, nothing catches him off guard. That's he right. knows what's going on. He knows what's going on in my life and in your life. That's he right. knows exactly what's going on. And I thought, you know, as I was reading a good word of God, and I thought, <coughs> you know, he, he had to, when he came up there, and he had made his lunch, so it was there. And somebody, somebody had to be looking for a solution to feed these people. Yeah. And I'm glad that Andrews, he began to go through there. And he found this young lad. He couldn't find nothing to eat nowhere else. They didn't have the food to eat. But he found this young yeah. lad that had the five loaves and two fishes. That's right. Let yeah. me tell you a little, it's much if my God is in it. Yeah. 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 If my God is yeah. in it, a little bit is a whole lot. Amen. 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 God can take this a little bit. Whatever little bit you got, God can take that. God can multiply that. God can make it work for His glory. Yes, brother. Absolutely. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. Amen. I tell you, we're serving a mighty God today. Amen. Amen. Yes. We're serving a 
leads us to use any uh, talent that he's gave us, the first thing we have to do is present it to Jesus. Amen. And that's what he did. He just led, he, uh, he, gave the, he gave all that he had. Jesus willingly received all that that boy had. Yes. When Jesus had received all that boy had, the Bible tells us that Jesus looked up and he blessed what the boy had. Yes. He blessed that. Yes. And not only blessed it, but if you read in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John, all of them got this, uh, got this same story in there. <coughs> Some of them just a little bit more account of it. But the Bible teaches you and I that after he gave Jesus that and Jesus took it, Jesus received it, then Jesus looked up and Jesus broke it, and then Jesus, he blessed it, he broke it, Bless and then Lord. he used it. Yeah. And that's what he wants to do with us. He wants, to, he wants to get us in his hand. He wants to take us. He wants to bless us. He wants to break us, has to break our heart spirit, break our will, and make us know that we got to lean on him. And after he's done Amen. that, he can use us in the kingdom however he wants to. But first, we got to we got to submit to his will. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that's what God's trying to teach you this morning. All of these things that we saw happen was more than a coincidence. This wasn't just something that's going to happen. This wasn't something just... Boy, this but wasn't it uh, lucky this happened? No, it God was in the arrangements from the very first. That's right. God was in the arrangements from the very first. Yes. Amen. <laughs> if that little lad hadn't had the had the lunch, then that the, this miracle we wouldn't have a record of it because it wouldn't have happened. But God knew what was going to happen. Amen. And I'm glad that He did. I'm glad that God has yes. got everything yes. under control. Amen. And you can look yes. all down through the Word of God. And we can find things in there that are more than a coincidence. That's yeah. right. I remember one time, and, and I'll try to hurry and not keep you long. I guess y'all hungry. But that's all right. I'll say here the Lord gets done. Y'all get hungry going on. <laughs> May the Lord finish us. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. I was thinking, you know, one day I read in the God's Word that Peter and... Uh, John Peter went up there with John up to the temple at the hour of prayer. And yeah. the Bible says as they went up there, there was a crippled man laying there. Yeah. You know, and as they went in, he said, uh, you yes. know, he asked an alms of them. And uh, you, I can hear Peter in my mind say, you know, uh, silver and gold have I none, but such as I gave thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. You know, and he took him by the hand. And the Bible says this man jumped up, and you know, and he leaped and ran and walked and praised in the Lord. Yeah. But let me tell you, let me back up just a minute. Did you hear what happened? Bless him, Lord. Gee, Peter or John didn't have any money. Amen. <coughs> God was in the range. This is more than a coincidence that they didn't have any money. Yeah. yeah. Supposing that they had had money in their pocket, and they went by this morning. And they reached down there, and as they passed by, and this man asking alms that they gave him a little piece of money, yeah. and went on in, he would have still been crippled. <laughs> yeah. He would have yeah. still been crippled. See, God was in the range. Hey, they were the children of God. They wasn't going to just pass this man up Thank without you. doing something yes. for him. They yes. didn't have any money to give him. So what they had, they shared with him. Amen. 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 Because of that, God used that, and he blessed him. More than a coincidence. Amen. 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 Much more than a coincidence. Help him, Lord. Help him. Yes. I read another time in the Word of God, you know, and, and it could go on and on and on, and I won't go too far, but I just want to tell you this real quick, you know, and we'll get back to where we want to be. But I, I read in God's Word about one time that Elijah, you know, where he was a... He was over by the brook, you know. God said, I'm going to feed you. There's a great drought in the land. You know, and people were starving to death. And, and uh, all the cattle, you know, they wasn't any feed for them. There wasn't no water. The corn was all drying up. Everything was really looking bad. You know, and the Bible says that God spoke to him and he sent him over to Zarephath to a widow. Now, it wasn't any coincidence that God sent him to this particular widow. This widow here was one that was starving to death. They only had a little handful of meal, the Bible says, and a little bit of oil in a cruise. That's all they had. Yeah. And she was going to prepare that, and they was going to eat, then her family was going to starve to death. Yes. That's what the Bible said. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's what they said. Lord. But see, God was in the range. Amen. 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 More than a coincidence that the man of God was there. And he said, you just go and make me 
a little cake, you know, and, and bring it to me. And she said, as the Lord liveth, I just got a little handful of them and a little hole in the cruise. Yeah. And, you know, he said, he, I know he knew in his heart. He said, hey, that's enough, you know. Little is a whole lot if God's in it. Amen. If God's in it, it's going to be all right. Amen. Amen. He said, you just go do like I told you. And, and then after you give me a little cake, then you go and you fix something for you and your lad. Yeah. Amen. Now this woman's going to make a decision. God has made the provision. Now she's got to make a decision. Amen. Is she going to go and take that meal? Is she going to make a little cake for the man of God? Or is she going to say, there, no, I just got this little bit and I've got to save it. I'm sorry. You're going to have to go somewhere. She didn't say that. She went on in there and she fixed that case. Yes. Looked down the meal barrel and they still meal down there. Yeah. And the Bible says they live many days, many days. And every day, every time you take a handful out, God put one back. Amen. I heard a lot of people say, you know, that God filled them out, the barrel up every time, you know, if he took a little bit out. I don't believe God works that way. God gave it back as she needed it. Amen. Because she had to go by faith every time that she reached down in that barrel to get some meal. By faith, she had to know God's going to put it back. Every time she poured the oil out of that cruise, she had to believe that God's going to put it back. Amen. And every time that she did, God put it back into the rain. Yeah. That is more than a coincidence that God went to this particular home. That's right. God yes. sent this yes. man of God there to this Bless particular you. widow at that time. Yes. And we can see how Bless everything that God does is not a coincidence. That's right. Amen. Nothing that God does is a coincidence. Amen, Amen. Amen brother. Yes. Now I want to tell you what I want to start and want to tell you from my very first. Today, Bless you, Lord. this morning, you got out of your bed. That wasn't a coincidence. Nope. God had you to get ready. Yes. God put that desire in your mind, in your heart, yes. to come into the house of the Lord. That's and right. not just any house of the Lord. God put it in your heart to be here yes. this morning yes. on this day. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's no coincidence you're here. God was in arrangements from the very first. That's right. The That's same right. way he was with yeah. this little boy with his yeah. lunch. Yes. God got you up. He got you ready. And he made a way that you could be here and you could assemble in the house of God Amen. with the Amen. children of God. Yes. It's no coincidence that you're here. Amen. It's no coincidence Bless my brother, Lord. as God looks in every heart here That's right. that God looked down. He knew when he was moving. He knew when he was planning this service. Yeah. Yeah. See, God sees way around the corners. God sees tomorrow. We see today. Yeah. God knows what's going on. Yes. And God knew that there's going to be some folks here this morning that was lost and on their way to hell. Yeah. God knew there's going to be some folks Help here this morning him, that were back Bless him, on God. Help on, brother. Help him, God. Yeah. God knew that. Yeah. Come on, brother. Preach. And that's why he sent this service the way it is. God made every, every song, I believe, was a plan by God. Yeah. I believe every yeah. prayer, everything that happened here this morning, it was all beautiful and it was all great, but God was in your range. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. It wasn't a coincidence as old children sung those beautiful songs over there. Bless my heart. Yeah. I tell you, you adults did great. And yeah. I'm so proud of you. Bless but you'll never sing as pretty as them little young did. Right. Amen. Because God's raising them up. Yeah. Yeah. God's Amen. raising them up. I am Brother Gerald and his wife, we've heard him saying years ago, they don't remember us, but I remember them. He preached at a church I went to and, and blessed my heart and they sang and you know, and it was it was awesome. Yeah. And yeah. I appreciate that. And y'all do a wonderful job. And uh, you uh, other ladies that sang and I all of you that sung, it was beautiful. Yeah. But they never be kidding me on this. God was in arrangements here this morning. Amen. God wanted it this way. God wanted you to be here. He wanted you to Bless hear those songs. That's right. He wanted you to hear those songs of praise and Amen. feel how it feels to be in the house of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's no coincidence that you're here. That's yes. right. But Bless right now, Lord. God's got you here. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. <laughs> yes. Right now, God's speaking to your heart. Right now, you realize that you're lost. You're on your way to hell. I know a lot of folks don't like to talk about hell, but let me tell you, hell is just a real sin. Yeah. And if there ain't no hell, that's not proper English, but it, I guess easy to understand. If there ain't no hell, darling, there ain't no heaven. But I'm here to tell you there is a hell, and thank God there's a heaven. That's my home. That's where I'm going after yeah. That uh, the only way you can get to heaven, Jesus has got to Remember that song they were 
singing this morning, and it just blessed my heart. And, and people was singing and, you know, praising the Lord. And it got to the last verse. And that's, I mean, that's the one that really lights my fire. Where Jesus is going to come back and get us. Bless you, Lord. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah. And everybody kind of quietened down. And I said, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. And the Lord said, well, tell them, sing it again. They weren't listening. <laughs> and we sang again, and then the Lord began to move. Because Amen. we began to hear, hey, he's coming after us. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. But the thing is, he's coming after those that are saved. Amen. Absolutely. Whoa! Yeah. Those that are saved. Yes. Yeah. The rest of them don't get to go. That's Bless right. You. Bless your heart. But this is your lucky day. Amen. Amen. Bless your good heart. If this is your lucky day. Yeah, if you're here and you're not saved, this is your day. Today, the Bible says, the day of salvation. Amen. This is the appointed time right now. Yeah. Right now. Amen. If you've got cold on the Lord and you need to come back home, yeah. he's always said without stretched arms. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yes. Now, let me tell you this real quick. If you've been saved and you've done backslid on the Lord, don't you expect you, God Lord, to, you. to come and deal with your heart the same way he did before you ever got saved? You, brother. I'll tell you what he's going to do, so I want you to listen real close, and, and thank God for letting me slow down, because I want you to understand this. A lot of folks that backslide on God and get out of the will of God, and they expect God to come back and hit them with a bolt of lightning or something like that. Well, let me tell you what God's Word teaches us. It teaches us a story about a prodigal son. Y'all remember that story? Yeah. Y'all remember it, don't you? Bless you, Lord. Oh. His, he got all of his uh, things that his father had, his inheritance. He took it and went out into a far country, the Bible said. And he wasted a riotous living. Not righteous, but riotous. Yeah. He was doing whatever the devil warned him to out there, having a good time, living it up. That's right. The Bible don't say that the father went down there hunting him. You won't find that no work. The father didn't go looking for him. Bless him Lord. He came looking for him before he got saved. He came looking for you before you got saved. But now he's in that far country. And the Bible don't say that God went down there hunting him. Nope. The Bible said he came to himself. Right. He, Amen. he came to himself. Yeah. Maybe somebody said something to remind him, hey, remember where I was? Yeah. I had all these blessings. Bless I had all the food I wanted. I had everything I needed back at the father's house. He came to himself, and he says, you know, and you know in old country terms, you know what that boy said? Now, this is the dumbest thing anybody ever done. Down here feeding a bunch of hogs when I can be up there at the father's house eating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Think about it. Wouldn't it be kind of foolish, and I'm not calling you foolish, I just want you to listen. Wouldn't it be foolish to dilly-dally around, you know, and, and just... Get about just going your own way, doing your own thing, and Jesus come and catch you unprepared. Amen. You don't want that Bless to happen. Bless you, Lord. Bless you. You don't want that to happen. Bless because you, Because I'm here to tell you, Jesus is going to come. It's going to be in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Yeah. When he comes after us, I can't speak for nobody but me. But let me tell you what he's going to do for Roger. Jesus Christ. Is sitting at the right hand of the Father now, according to the Word of God. Amen. The Bible says that when the Father says, Son, go and get your bride, at that time, the Bible says, Jesus Christ, God's Son, is going to jump up off the throne and He's going to descend with a shout. He's going to be so excited to come and get Roger Carter, He's going to be shouting on the way down. And I'm going to be so excited to see Him, I'm going to shout on the way up. Praise the Lord. And if you're saved, He's shouting for you, and he's shouting for, and you're going to be shouting to go back with him. And the Bible says, we'll forever be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. We'll always be with him. Yeah, that's right. Where's he going to go? Is he coming back this earth? What's he going to do? Don't make me no difference. If I were Jesus, it's all right. Yeah. 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 I don't like that yeah. a lot of people get out of church and everything because some of them believe in the millennial reign, some of them don't. I'll tell you this. Stay with Jesus. Wait and see. Yeah. Wait right. and see. Praise the Lord. I have my plan. I know what I believe. Yeah. But let me tell you, you stay with Jesus, yes. but we will forever be with Jesus. That's right. Wherever Absolutely. he goes, whatever he does, we will be with him yeah. if we're saved. Amen. That's right. Amen. But if we're not saved, when Jesus comes, we're in trouble. 
And anybody I work with will tell you the same thing. I could stand beside of a truck where I was a diesel mechanic, and I could stand by there with tools in both hands, and flat-footed, I could jump up on the front tire of that truck and work. Bless and you, I could jump down, and I would just like a rabbit up down there, and now I can't even climb up those steps. Bless you, we don't know what's going to happen down the road, but listen, I know if I ain't dead or farther on. So I don't care whatever happens to here. That just means I'm getting closer to home. Bless I'm going to get a glorified body. If you're safe, you're going to get a glorified body. Thank you, my friend, the sun That's worth waiting for. Lord, bless you. And I can go through anything down here because I know what's waiting at the bottom. Amen. 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 There's going to be a payday after a while. Yes, Amen. they are. Amen. But let me tell you all something real quick. I'm going to shut up here in a minute. <laughs> Everybody knows there's going to be a payday after a while, don't they? But let me tell you, for the children of God, there's a payday every day. Every day is payday for me. If you're a child of God, every day is a payday for you. God pays you. I mean, He blesses you. He takes care of you, and and things will come up, and you don't understand what in the world am I going to do? God just works it out. Amen. Don't even know why. Don't even know how, but God just works it out. And it works so smooth and so subtle and so great that we don't even realize it happens till it's already happened and everything's worked out. That's right. And we look around and say, "What happened? God moved. That's what happened. God took care of me. That's what happened." Today. I pray, God, that if you're here, that you have made up your mind when that Lord spoke, knocked on your door, and the devil is on the inside. Sweetheart, you've got to open on the inside. But let me tell you, he loves you unconditionally. Amen. It don't matter how mean, how ornery, or what you was, because hey, I was pretty mean before I got saved. I did a lot of things, and I'm ashamed of them. But I can't change them. And I'm not even going to tell you about them, because... It's not important. What I'm going to tell you is that you don't have to stay there. I try. If you're in drugs, you don't Bless have to stay there. If you're in adultery, you don't have to stay there. If you're lost and on your way to a devil's hell, you don't have to stay there. Jesus paid it all. Amen. Yes, Amen. it is. Amen. The Bible, when the Bible said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so. that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life, he meant that. Yes, Amen. He did. Yes, he meant that. He does yes, love you. He did love me. I wasn't lovable, but he loved me when I was unlovable. Amen. Now I pray God that I'm more lovable than I was. But I let him down. I come short of the glory of God. I try with all my heart to live a perfect life. And every time I try to live a perfect life, it seems like somewhere I stuck my toe along the way. But you know, I don't have to quit. The Bible just, I get in God's Word and He shows me, you know, where all I got to do is let God lift me up, dust me off, and let me go again. Amen. Amen. He said, let me tell you this real quick, because I, I got to tell people this all the time. Everybody knows it, or if it ain't underlined in your Bible, I recommend you underline it and, and read it over and over to you doing the ember. Because the first John, the first chapter and the ninth verse, and I want you to listen to the first word, if. Could y'all say if? If. Do you believe if is conditionary? Yes. Do y'all believe if is conditionary? Yes. 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 It's conditionary. The Bible said if. We confess our sin. That means repent. Yeah. If we confess our sin, then He, God, is faithful and He's just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all, A-L-L, all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. Remember that. Amen. If you're willing to confess your sin, not to me, <coughs> not to Brother Byrne, Amen. not to any of these other preachers in here, Amen. but to God. Amen. You don't have to come and pray out loud and say, Oh, God, I've, I've drunk this whiskey. I've done this, I've done that, and all. No, he's not when you do that. No. He already knows what you've done. He just wants you to come and be straight up with him. God, and I've sinned. I've come to show you glory. Yes. I want you to forgive me. <coughs> and he will. Amen. That's all he wants us to be honest with. Can we be honest with God this morning? Bless you, Lord. Can we be totally honest with God today? Bless you, Lord. Bless you. If you can't talk, shake your head this up. Or if you can't be honest, shake your head this way.
Can we be honest with God today? Some of you shaking your head this way. Some of you just looking at me. <laughs> you ain't made a Bless you, Lord. Well, I'm, I'm going to do something just a little bit unusual because I'm done. I would like for every eye to be closed and every head to be bowed just for a minute. Now, I believe we got a we got to come to God open. I mean, yeah. I, and unashamed, I believe we've got to come to God that way. But this morning, while nobody's looking around, except Brother Byrne, I would like for you to stand with me, Brother Byrne. I want you. Well, Brother Byrne and I are the only ones looking around, but Jesus is looking. Is there one here that would just raise your hand up and say, I need prayer. I'm not saved. Thank God for those. Would there be others? You can put your hand down. We saw those hands. Thank God for them. Maybe you're here this morning and you know you've been saved, but you got cold on the Lord. You've drifted away from the Lord. Thank God for that hand. God sees that hand. We see those hands. You're not where you need to be with the Lord, and you know that. You can put your hand down. If there be others, just slip your hand up and back down. Well, all you're doing is telling us you want us to pray for you. We're not going to come back and try to drag you up here. So you can raise your hand and not worry. Brother Byrne, we'll give you an opportunity if you want to come and pray. But would there be others just raise your hand up? I need prayer today. Whatever you need prayer for. Thank God for those hands. Thank God for those hands. Thank you. Would there be others? Thank God for them. God sees those hands. You can put them back down. Now would you look this way, please? I want us to listen to the pastor as he does whatever God puts on his heart. And I promise you, he will obey God. Amen. And I want you to listen to him, and I want you to listen to the sweet Holy Ghost as it speaks to your heart. Thank you. 